Hey guys, got some sad news today. My brand new AMD 6600 XT died. About an hour after I completed that last benchmark and I was so elated by these magical numbers of efficiency, I put it downstairs in my main test computer. Lights came on, fans came on, monitor didn't come on. And I even put it on another mining rig, wasn't being recognized. Moved it to another computer, same thing. So. This card is dead, no screen, no nothing, and it's not even registering it on a mining motherboard. It's pretty sad because I had some amazing benchmarks planned for this in tests. I'm not gonna let that get me down or get in my way. Got a brand new Quick, which is the baby brother of this one, I guess it's a little bit less expensive. This is also another brand new 6600 XT. This one is about $450 card. This one is $480. So I'm gonna be taking this one, I'm gonna be bringing it right to my main test rig, and I'm gonna be making sure I'm getting the same numbers I was getting on this, or comparatively, maybe better even. The best part is, is I'm gonna be doing a head-to-head, -head, side by side comparison of a 6600 versus a 5600 versus a 5700. And I got a couple of more surprise cards I'm gonna be throwing in that mix too. This is Crypto Mining Insider. Let's get started. This is a platinum power supply, so it's extremely efficient. Let's just power the breadboard so we can get a benchmark at least two. Right now we're running at about 7.7 .7 watts. We want to just round up say eight watts. So whatever we're going to add to it when we hook up the graphic card, we're going to just subtract about eight watts from it. We got our server power supply connected right into our card all by itself. This way we can isolate it and we'll see what our numbers are. Let's start up the computer. Okay, so we got everything started back up but we're still doing 33.12 at 59 watts. Wow, with a 561 efficiency. So, okay, we're seeing 84.2 at the wall, but yet we're only seeing 59 on the computer. There's a big difference between 59 84. Now we know 84 is really you have to subtract about eight because that's what the basis is of just running the power supply. So if we take off the power supply numbers of about eight, let's say, so we're really running at about 75 watts. So numbers to me are looking a lot closer to 75 watts for this car to run than the 59. If any of you also have power meters out there and can do these tests too, please, I would love to hear your contribution or at least your findings on this too. But I am very, very happy about the 33.1 numbers. Doing today, I'm gonna to be doing the AMD, the 6600 against 5600 and the 5700. But they were known to be very, very well and very respected for their very high efficiency and high hash rate. So we're actually gonna take the new one. Ironically too, they're all three of them, they're all XFX cards. We're gonna be looking at those numbers and we're gonna see who's king of efficiency. Um, seeing my 5600 as 443 efficiency, that's actually a little bit low. This card is kind of funny because when it, as it runs over time, I watch the efficiency go up. Look at this 5700, killing it at 477 efficiency, but it's doing 50 mega hash. So we got to see the 6600 go head to head with the 56 and the 5700. And although these cards did extremely well with their hashing power, they definitely could not compete with the 6600 but we're gonna take it one step further. Let's ratchet it up even more. I'm gonna go head to head. We have a Founders Edition 3070 and an Asus 3060 Ti. Some of the most efficient RTX cards on the market today. Let's start looking at numbers of them and let's see how well this 6600 holds up. So I've already added all five cards here, the 3060 Ti, the 3070, and the other three cards we've had. And we're seeing amazing numbers here for the efficiency, but honestly, my eye gets drawn immediately. I'm much more interested in what I'm seeing on my hash rate. Look at these numbers, the 3060 Ti and the 3070 pulling almost 61 mega hash. Efficiency matters, you know, it's getting almost twice the mega hash that I'm seeing on the 6600. So this, this is a great card, like I said, for probably a second card, but I'm still in love with the high hash rate cards. Okay, so we got this wonderful rig all set up with these dream cards that are highly efficient. We were great that we were able to get some Ethereum numbers, but you know what? We wanted to see just out of curiosity. What does it look like for Ergo? So I started up an Ergo miner. It's mining right now, and this paints a picture at least to give us some quick peek on it. 
So we have 3060 and a 30, 3060 Ti and a 3070. Wow, they're really hitting it out of the ballpark with these high hash rates and extremely high efficiencies too. 6600, it's also extremely efficient. It can't measure up as far as on the hash rate, but we already know that. 56, 5700s, still hashing pretty well. The efficiency is also holding up extremely concerning its two-year-old technology. We just hope this kind of gives you a peek and insight into some of altcoin mining. And we plan to do a lot of other videos about other altcoin mines and different setups and comparisons in the future. Wow, that was a really exciting review for me to put together and see the numbers myself. I, I was pretty surprised with some of them. I mean, to be able to see that a 3070 and a 3060 Ti could just go head to head with this card, come through with, you know, smashing hash numbers. And then on top of it too, the efficiency of this card is only marginally better. I have, I'm not taking nothing away from this card, but you know, the numbers speak for themselves. I was, however, extremely surprised to see the wattage numbers on the wall. We know that a graphic card has a core clock and that uses a certain amount of wattage or electricity, and then it may have a little bit of ancillary features. But to see a car that's rated at 55, even some people saying, I'm seeing closer to 58 watts. But in actuality, to look at it on a meter showing me 78. So just really got to look at the whole picture. Just numbers don't lie. We're happy to be able to kind of share that with you. So if you do it in your calculations, you're really going to be planning maybe more that it's probably more of 80 watts when you're running the car. Typically, it's not a 55 watt car, which is something to consider. I also see though that same increase when I'm looking at other cards. So if I look at like a 3070, I'll be looking at about 15 watts increase. And that's because it's looking at the core, it's looking at the electricity used by the chip, not by all the additional fans, cooling, RGB, what have you on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up like, smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already and we welcome all your questions and comments please put them down below we'll do our best to answer them as quickly as we can and until the next video happy mining <laughs>